this is a time lapse recording of my process for my final project for our Daedalus and Icarus. So this is a 16 by 20 inch um, acid free canvas. Um, I'm painting with acrylics. Um, I pre gessoed the canvas before recording so it would have time to dry. The painting actually took me around mm, 14 hours to complete from start to finish, um, including breaks of course and time to rest and eat. I uh, want to make sure I'm taking care of myself even while I'm working. So I started by doing a wash of just the basic colors and where I wanted their placement to be. and. Now I am painting in more detail in the sky, more solid colors. I'm beginning with the clouds with a fan brush and there's a cut to progress. You can see me scrutinizing. Starting on the clouds on the left. Now I spent longer on the clouds than I kind of wanted to. I found myself kind of obsessing over them at some point and it got to the point where I was getting so frustrated with the clouds that I just didn't want to paint it anymore and that's when I knew I needed to take a break but I'm still working on them using a sponge to get some more solid washes some blue in the clouds. Finger painting. And there's the sky. It was at this point that I began working on the ocean below. Um, I don't have that much experience with painting water, so this was kind of a grueling task. Um, I was getting quite tired at this point. It was about uh, three in the morning at this point, and I really just wanted to go to bed, but. So after I finished the ocean and the rocks and everything, I made a transfer of Icarus and I put it on the canvas. And this is the next day. I was really stalling at this point because I was very happy with how the background had turned out um, so I knew that if I messed up the figure that it would ruin the painting so I was very nervous about starting it so I was really just stalling for time but I knew I had to finish it so you know just gotta suck it up and do it It's kind of hard to see what I'm doing here, but I'm really just, <laughs> come back with a hat, I'm really just adding detail after detail after smooth blending after smooth blending on Icarus, and you'll notice I went and got my glasses for this because, well, it's fine if I am working on a larger background or something, but it really helps to have them if I'm doing fine detail. decided to give him hair to further create the illusion that he was falling by having it sp spray upwards, spray upwards, spray upwards, fly upwards. I can't English apparently. Starting to work on the feathers. 
Now I wanted to paint Daedalus as well in this piece, but really it was just a matter of the time I had left to finish it. I wanted to get Icarus completely done and then decide with the time I had left if I was going to be able to do it. And I just wasn't, so it's just Icarus, but honestly I think adding Daedalus would have kind of thrown off the composition of the painting, so I'm all in all very happy of how it turned out. Here I'm adding the sun rays. Signing it. A couple more details in the waves, and yeah. Here's the Latin and the English um, of the lines of the story. I titled it Under Sunlight, and the date. Now I'm varnishing it, just as a finishing touch, just to seal the deal. Um, and it's very satisfying to watch um, varnishing paintings because it just enhances the color and protects them from any harmful light or fading throughout the years. Um, and it's really just a lovely, lovely addition to the painting. This is the finished piece. I got rather frustrated at times, but honestly I'm very happy with how it turned out. Um, and I hope this will suffice for my final project. So <laughs> yeah, that's, that's that. Um, I'm gonna go to bed now because I'm exhausted, but bye.